Now, this is quite a discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll, along with other relics, have been found in desert caves in Israel. Dozens of pieces of parchment were written in Greek, uh, with just the name of God appearing in Hebrew. With more, here's David Campanale. Deep in the Judean desert, close to the Dead Sea, are caves once used by second century Jewish rebels. They'd gone into hiding following a failed revolt against Roman rule. Barely accessible, except by abseiling down to them, dozens died here. But hidden with them were biblical treasures, the like of which Israel has not seen in over half a century. That is, until now. Israeli archaeologists working to prevent caves in the area from being looted filmed the moment of their discovery. Wow. Amazing, amazing, one says. Three lines. This is exciting. They'd found ancient verses from the books of the prophets Zechariah and Nahum in the Hebrew Bible. Likely written down in the centuries either side of the birth of Christ, the Israeli authorities said the scriptures were of immeasurable worth for humanity. For the first time in over 60 years, we have fragments that of a biblical book that were discovered in an archaeological excavation. Um, it's important also because this is the first time where, when such fragments are found in an excavation and brought straight here to our laboratory. The parchment had been written in Greek, the language adopted after the conquest of Judea by Alexander the Great. The name of God, though, exclusively appears in Hebrew. Written at a time when the Jews were returning from Babylonian captivity, Zechariah writes of what is to come, from the rebuilding of the temple and Jerusalem to a coming messianic king. So the book of Zechariah has two figures, a priest and a king, who work together to bring about a new holy state. And therefore it's a very important book which is quoted in the New Testament. Searches of the cliffs and caves in the Judean desert have yielded a treasure trove of finds over decades. The archaeologists involved say they hope to keep going with the hope of more discoveries to come. David Campanali, BBC News.